Big changes are on the horizon for Brunei's financial sector. HSBC is winding down its operations, the Bank of China has obtained a license to operate there, and regulatory foundations for Brunei's first stock market are expected to be complete sometime next year. Joining me is Pierre Imhoff from Brunei's Baiduri Bank. First, Pierre, HSBC is moving away, the Bank of China is coming into Brunei. How is that going to affect the banking sector? I think it will change it in a, in a positive way. Uh, as in many other countries in the ASEAN, the local banks have grown, as dev have developed. I believe that with the departure uh, or the withdrawal of uh, HSBC from Brunei, Baiduri Bank may appear as the bank of choice for their clients. Bank of China coming. I think it's a good thing and good for the image of the country that a foreign bank is showing interest in a Brunei financial market. It needs to learn the culture, uh, the habits, the environment, and that doesn't come overnight. So I'm sure that Bank of China will go through this learning curve. You mentioned Brunei being a member of the ASEAN community. What is that doing for Brunei's growth? The members of the ASEAN are moving towards a single market in terms of circulation of goods, services, probably at a later stage of capital and labour. So there is this trend to better and better integration within ASEAN and this will definitely benefit Brunei and by the Bank Group. Brunei's national vision, the Wawasan 2035 has the financial services sector increasing its contribution to GDP up to 5 or even up to 8 percent. How is that going to be achievable and how do banks like Baiduri Bank actually fit into this? It's an ambitious target but we are there to uh, take up ambitious targets and to try to achieve such goals with the aim of the government to promote and support SMEs. Banks in general and Baiduri Bank in particular, have accumulated excess of liquidity, and this excess of liquidity may be injected in the domestic economy to uh, provide the right financing to SMEs. And we can also take advantage of a wider range of uh, banking or uh, financial services, which will be available in the country soon. Indeed. So moving on to the stock exchange then, what is a realistic time frame for the stock exchange to launch? From what I read, what I hear, is that it is a project which is taken very seriously by the authorities and by the regulator. My understanding is that within a couple of years, this stock exchange would be launched, ready to operate. And for Baiduri Bank, uh, it's a very good move. We are uh, very much supporting this expanding of uh, the financial businesses in Brunei and this opening of capital markets. We are the first uh, in Brunei to offer an online trading platform to our customers. Uh, so our clients are now able to access a number of stock exchanges uh, in the region, uh, Singapore, uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Hong Kong, and now the US, and trade uh, online uh, on these markets. What does the stock exchange represent then, not in terms of the actual practicality, but more the governance, the, the regulations that are in place, and I suppose related to what you were saying about the Bank of China, the interest that the international market is showing in the local economy? Definitely in a country like Brunei, a small environment, it's a small economy, the banks know well the market, uh, there might be a tendency not to be uh, fully in line with the highest standards in terms of accounting, financial uh, structures, etc. For me, having a stock exchange will definitely increase transparency and good governance and uh, companies which are listed. And this will have a kind of domino effect uh, for all other companies. And this level of transparency and governance will, in the long term, help the country uh, to develop even further its economy and to be more visible with an excellent image abroad. More international money coming into Brunei then. How can banks like Baiduri Bank make sure that actually trickles down into the local economy? Brunei needs to diversify. That has been set as an absolute priority uh, by the authorities. One aspect of diversification 
is to attract foreign direct investment. Uh, the other side, as you rightly mentioned, is that this should benefit the people of Brunei. This should, this should benefit uh, the companies and the SMEs. Just recently, at the beginning of this year, the government has uh, created a new uh, body called DARE to uh, promote and support companies, uh, local companies, and especially SMEs. So we definitely want to develop our activities in cooperation with this entity in supporting SMEs and in uh, transferring to the local population, whether they are individuals or companies, the benefit of this diversification. PIM off, thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about the business opportunities in the ASEAN community at worldfinance.com. And please subscribe for more stories from the financial services industry, as well as all the latest insights from World Finance.